Here's our first area problem. We're going to compute the area of this circle. R is equal to cos theta. Um, and like any area problem, it helps if you know what this object looks like that we're computing the area from. Also, it's a circle. So if, if we know the radius, we can always do you know, pi r squared. Uh, so the way you figure this one out, we did a similar one like this in the previous section. right? Multiply both sides by r. And you get r squared is r cos theta. So x squared plus y squared is, is equal to x. You move the x over, you complete the square, and you get an equation that looks like that. So it's a circle of radius 1 half centered at the point 1 half 0. So there's 1 half, there's 1. So we go up a half, we go down a half, and we get our circle. Okay. Now, knowing that the radius is 1 half, we expect that we should get an area, pi r squared, so we should get pi over 4. Pi over 4 should be the area of this thing. But let's use the formula anyway. At least it will give us confirmation that this is a valid approach. Okay. Um, also notice that because we are only in quadrants 1, 1 and 4 here, okay, well, what are the, what are the possible angles for, for theta? Um, we can, the easiest way to do this is to go from minus 1 half around to plus 1 half. Okay, that's the, that's the best way to do this one. Okay. So theta goes from, sorry, not 1 half, but pi over 2. Minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. We don't have any part of the circle over in the third or the fourth, or the second or the third quadrants. Okay, so let's compute the area. We should get that the area is one half integral minus pi over two to pi over two of f of theta, which is cos theta squared. Okay. Now, you might want to use a bit of symmetry here. Uh, we have an even function between symmetric limits, so we can go from 0 to pi over 2 and double things. Save us a little bit of trouble in the end. At least it gets rid of that 1 half. Even power of cosine, so we need a trig identity for that, right? This is going to be 0, pi over 2, 1 plus cos 2 theta over 2. So we get 1 half theta plus 1 quarter sine 2 theta from 0 to pi over 2. And the sine term doesn't contribute anything, as is often the case with these, right? Because sine of 0 is 0, sine of pi is 0. Um, so we just get 1 half times pi over 2. We get pi over 4, as expected.